everyone welcome to learning impact in today lecture we will study about differences between ideal and real culture this differences was drawn by max weber what is ideal and real culture ideal culture refers to norms values and behavior that society aspires to hold means that society strives to get that norms values and behavior while real culture it refers to the actual behavior that people exhibit in their everyday life which is the ground reality that how people act in their daily life. Ideal culture by nature is normative, means that it represents the socially approved standards and expectations within a society. While real culture is descriptive, means that it reflects the actual behavior and practices of individuals within the society. Practicability. Ideal culture is considered utopian, which means that it often reflects an idealized vision of how people should interact and behave. While in case of real culture, it is pragmatic, which accounts for the practical realities of human behavior and interaction. Ideal culture is considered formal as it often represented in official documents, educational material, and public speeches, means it is the rules and regulation that is been uh, in form of official documents while real culture is considered informal as it is informal culture informal interaction personal choices and everyday situation in society then change rate the ideal culture change rate is considered nearly static because it change very slowly it tends to change more slowly over time as it represent the long standard societal values while in case of the real culture, it can change rapidly in response to any social, economic, and technological factors. Okay, then ideal culture time frame that uh, it represents the future vision for society as it is the standards which society aspires to hold. So it is always considered the future vision while real culture represents reality of society. Ideal culture influences society in the way that it shapes the society goals, but real culture it shapes society behavior. Ideal culture is considered it has as a guiding principle for society to move on and to achieve some standards, while real culture is a reflective action that is uh, performed by the people of society in a, a current current situation. Then ideal culture accessibility that uh, some elements of the ideal culture might be achieved but it is not possible to achieve it fully. It means that it is the perfect standards that has been set so it is not possible to achieve the fully, achieve it fully but some parts of it can be achieved. Real culture it is what already has been achieved uh, reflect the real culture. Then advantages ideal culture has a high morality and ethic values. It it uh, acts as an inspiration to achieve the goal. It also encourages innovation, means new discoveries. It tends to build up cohesion, the uh, strong relationship among the individuals of society, and it acts as a guiding vision for society to move on. While real culture, it gives a realistic outlook of society. It, uh, it celebrates the cultural diversity. It promotes open dialogue. And also, if there is any change in the situation or circumstances of the society, it tries to adopt the uh, society according to that change. Then disadvantages. In case of ideal culture, as we discussed, it is something perfect standards that has been set, so it is considered unattainable standards. So sometimes, as it cannot be achieved, but a society strive to uh, uh, strive to hold it, so it leads to the conflict and division. Sometimes it leads to a judgment and exclusion. For example, if there is a group who are, who are living in a society but they are not conformed to the uh, norms of the ideal culture, so they are being considered as excluded uh, from the society. Disillusionment, uh, it actually when reality falls short of the ideal situation. So, and also it leads to a culture stagnation, which means that uh, this is uh, the ideal norms actually sometimes suppress the culture evolution means that adaptation of culture according to a circumstances so it leads to a culture stagnation while in case of real culture it sometimes have some uh, social issues like it can perpetuate the harmful practices in our society and also it resists to it can make a resistance to change it can law it can lead to a loss of vision because real culture 
it can be in any direction so it cannot uh, be necessary uh, in the direction of the idea culture it can lead to the moral relativism which means that uh, there are some some practices that is morally questionable but still it practice in a society and normative inconsistency that norms that is practiced by the individual cannot uh, may not uh, have some consistency means it will change according to a situation as it is more dynamic then uh, what is the examples of ideal and real culture for example if we take the example of gender equality in ideal standards we consider gender equality is the complete parity between men and women equal pay shared domestic responsibilities there should be social equality economic and political parity but it is something the standards that has been set but in case of real culture if women are less than men uh, for equal work they experience high rate of domestic and gender based violence so this is something the real culture there are also another example for example the educational systems educational system uh, how should be the education system look like in case of the ideal culture it must have equal access to the high quality education socio economic background of the students should not matter is uh, educational system setting will uh, like uh, there must be a highly qualified teachers and technologically advanced classrooms but in case of the real culture it is there is always some kind of inadequate funding unequal access teacher shortage outdated facilities and lack of resources similarly in other cases for example dowry which is the part of our uh, culture it is uh, prohibited by according to our constitution also according to our religion but still uh, it is something uh, ideally it is prohibited but in real it is practice and in one form or another form it will need by the uh, by uh, daughter so this is uh, something which is the uh you know, clash between the ideal and real culture there is also another examples for example environmental conservation uh, uh, about the environmental conservation the ideal culture state that communities should actively reduce their carbon footprint and also they should prioritize protection of the natural resources but in real culture there must there may be some deviations like there may be lack of awareness and there may be uh, different levels of commitment depends upon uh, level of commitment of individual toward this uh, initiative okay so thank you so much for watching leave your questions in the comment section below and like share and subscribe our channel for latest lectures thank you